Hey guys, hope you're having a nice day and let's go ahead and play Abyssur at the Sky Temple. Okay, so Sky Temple is actually a very a very good map for Abyssur because of those temple phases you can just go ahead and uh, body soak. Like, you body soak bottom when the top two temples spawns and you're gonna go ahead body soak top when the bottom temple spawns. Uh, so that's kind of great, right? Um, and which build do you want to go for here? I think... I think we're gonna go for the split push build. Um, I'm not sure about the split push build because they have um, they have Asmodan and Asmodan will just out push me easily. So I don't see I don't see the value of that to be honest. Uh, let's gonna go ahead. Actually, we're gonna build up the uh, clone build, not the clone build, but uh, the. Um, we're gonna go for the monstrosity build, see how that works out for us. Uh, so basically what we want here is uh, to get some healing on our level 1. Uh, then we're gonna grab some more healing at level 13 and uh, attack speed and uh, all of that stuff. Then we're gonna pick up monstrosity and yeah, soma transference. So that our monstrosity survives a little bit longer. And here we're probably gonna go for... The I don't know, like adrenaline boost can really really help with repositioning your monstrosity, but and venom spikes can also be good for our Illidan, for our uh, Greymane, so that they keep the enemies inside of the fight. That can be really damn good. Okay, yeah, so we picked up our regenerative microbes at level 1. This means that we can heal up our allies uh, pretty much consistently, so we're gonna do exactly that. We just kind of want to trigger it after they are done tanking damage, since we're gonna stay there for 4 seconds and Illidan heals up. By the way, it's always better to drop your Symbiote and then recast it, and then recast it again, if you are uh, looking for efficient healing, because it takes longer for Carapace uh, to come off of cooldown than your Symbiote, and when you recast Symbiote, uh, you immediately get all of the cooldowns uh, back. All of the cooldowns from your symbiote form back. So definitely want to be doing that. I was gonna go heal up this Kerazim. Good old Kerazim friend. Let's keep him keep him safe. Oh, Greymane. That's way too close to comfort. Oh my gosh. This guy almost died. Almost died. But let's keep him safe. Oh, I stayed there for one second. One second too late. I don't know, maybe I will go for sustained carapace instead. Yeah, that's more shields. So we're gonna keep our allies alive and now you can just drop symbiote right away. That way you can get more shields all across the board. Uh, because you instantly drop symbiote, it only takes 4 seconds. Basically it takes 5 seconds for your uh, healing to regenerate with sustained carapace. So that's obviously a solid, solid pickup in my opinion. And you just keep spamming it on allies. And uh, you are more or less a heal bot at that point. Oh, Illidan died somehow. I should have been bottom, by the way, a lot earlier, soaking all this time. But I was trying to keep my allies alive, you know? I was trying to be a useful teammate. That's not necessarily your job as Abyssal, right? You are more about split soaking and just applying pressure all across the board, getting levels for your team so they can uh, dominate the game later on. They might be coming for me, I don't see them. Actually, Genji is like super damn scary, so I should be very... Yep, there, that's... I'm dead. I... like, there is no even... There is no reason to even run, because he will kill you with two volleys of your... of his shuriken. Uh, especially if he lands a swift strike. When he lands a swift strike on you, you are basically dead. If he misses, then maybe you have a chance. Uh, but again, like, if he just lands all of his shurikens twice, and uh, he combos them with auto attacks in the meantime, uh, you are just dead right away. So the other good part... Damn. Uh, we got level 7 way too late, I could have muled that fort. Uh, so yeah, that's the reason kind of why Abyssur is decent on this map, is because you have mule. And mule on Sky Temple is kind of val valuable. It's kind of lame that we lost top 4, so like, if that survived and I muled it, that would be insane value for us right there. But it just didn't happen. Not much you can do, sadly. Not much you can do. Okay, what's happening bottom? Let's keep Greyman alive. So yeah, as Abyssal, you kind of want to be always uh, constantly like looking around the map. 
I think where, where you have opportunities to soak, opportunities to uh, shield, opportunities to help your teammates fight, and opportunities to maybe push. Oh my god, did we just... There we go! At least we killed Lucio. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, at least we killed Lucio. That's, that's a win. That's a win right there. I could not save this tower, sadly. In fact, nothing actually can be saved too much this game. Damn, people are just dying. No, not the best, not the best. Let's heal up Zul'jin a bit. Uh, he may not be very happy about that healing, but you know what? We don't care, we want to keep him alive. Uh, an alive Zul'jin is better than a dead Zul'jin that do does a ton of damage, right? So, let's do that. Uh, maybe I'm gonna go top now. This is kind of risky. I don't know where they are on the map. The enemy team. Okay, they are. Sh okay, no, no, no. Okay, there, there go. go. Go, not. Um, what's his face? Genji is trying to hunt me. Uh, so I'm definitely gonna not show top. In fact, I'm gonna just use my monstrosity top there, and that's gonna be that. Melsail dead. Well played. Uh, Greymain is a little bit overextended, so we, we want. I want to stop him from dying, let's mine this so that the minions die. And, uh, wow, Illidan just getting kills left and right, good job, man. Oh, our uh, monstrosity is dying. By the way, you can just press R, that way you immediately get in control of your monstrosity. So let's just go back for a second, uh, so that the tower stops focusing it. We're gonna heal it up with our symbiote, gonna be a grand old time. Man, I like, I really, oh no, team, why are we dying, team? There we go. Why are we dying, team? Hopefully, our, yep, our monstrosity is still going. So let's symbiote it, heal it up, keep going, monstrosity, keep going. Oh no, there was Melsail. I don't think he can kill it relics, like fast enough. In fact, I think we're gonna win versus him because monstrosity is not a hero, right? Uh, so Melsail can't use his uh, strategy of uh, healing for 3% of hero's maximum health when he presses uh, his Q button, right? Uh. Oh, let's help, let's help Greymane. I wonder if I... I don't always control, only when I need to. It's all good, Karazim, it's all good, we know how to play Abyssar. I'm helping you... Oh no, Illidan died. I don't know what he was doing. Team? Do you need healing, Illidan? I feel like you need some healing. Uh, we could have killed Genji there, he was overextended, but for some reason they swapped to Alarak. I don't know why. Still keep healing them. Our monstrosity is top lane. Uh, I'm gonna go bottom, push it a little bit with my Locusts. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. That's Zul'jin though. Damn. Damn. There we go, and our monstrosity is pushing top lane. Oh my gosh, this is looking great for us. We're gonna go for Soma Transference, that way we heal our monstrosity, we'll heal our dive heroes even better. It's gonna be great. Okay, the problem about giants though is that they kill your mule. That's, that's kinda lame. That's kinda lame, but we should be able to clean them up. Come on. Oh no, they are too far. There we go. Giants are dead. The keep is safe. Our allies are dying. Our monstrosity is also dead. But I think we got a forge. So that was kind of worth it, right? Wow, they actually did not scout the siege camp. The bruiser camp. Like, Alrak could have easily scouted it and seen Illidan and killed him. Okay, I will... Uh, I will symbiote it in one second, Illidan. I should not have probably unleashed into Genji that fast. Oh, well played. I'm gonna drop it, because that way I will heal you faster. Okay, there we go. Okay, with our Mule, we should be able to save this, right? People were saying that if you drop Mule when uh, the lasers are firing, it dies. I don't think that's true. No, it's not. They die to Siege Giants, probably, not the lasers. Why is I- oh my god, this mule is so bad. Well, too bad we lost a couple of towers here. But I couldn't really do anything as Abyssal, right? 
well played. Let's heal up Illidan in two seconds. Also, our monstrosity is gonna be ready relatively soon, so that's nice. And yeah, I think we're gonna go for adrenaline boost. That way our allies will have easier time dodging skill shots. And look at that, we set up a good engage for Greymane. Oh, he missed his, uh, he missed his Q thing. Uh, not his Q thing, but his ult thing. I'm gonna shield you, there we go. Uh, let's push mid. Uh, but the way your monstrosity works, by the way, is uh, that when the minions die around it, it gets stronger and stronger. And at some point, it will become so strong that it's gonna be absolutely unkillable for the enemy team. And you will just go in and wipe them. Uh, so basically, that's our goal here. Oh, I should have uh, healed the fort instead of a tower. But I think that's alright. Uh, heal up Graeme. Oh, no. Okay, there we go. I thought I missed my... I thought I forgot to cast my shield there. Uh, like, I already dispelled, tried to dispel my illusion, my symbiote, and I didn't cast the shield on Greyman yet. Illidan has hunt, but I don't think it's... Like, I don't think we... Re Ooh, I was a bit late there. Oh, dude, 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 just go. Oh, no, you are going to be so dead. Yep, I don't know why he engaged like that. Like, there was no reason to commit to that. Oh, Lucio, good job by him. He used uh, his uh, amp it up uh, before Hunt impacted. That, that provided him a slight buffer of healing. I healed you as much as I could have. As much healing as I could have output there. At least we are trading like one for one. Maybe this is not a good call, Illidan. Maybe this is not the best one. But you know what? Never mind. Illidan knows best. Okay, we're gonna shield them in like a second. Oh, this Genji, poor guy. Oh, poor guy. Let's heal up this uh, giant too. That's something you can be doing as Abbot, so your uh, regenerative carapace and uh, the Soma Transference both heal you. Look at this, this is this is just marvelous. This is like the best the best Abyssal game. The best best Abyssal game ever. Let's help Zul'jin a bit. Let's help this guy. Uh, so having like shields of Zul'jin is always better than just straight up healing. Uh, because he can get the value of um, of his uh, attack attack speed even though being at low health. Because of the shielding, right? It gives him a buffer of health, but he still gets the benefits of his attack speed. So obviously Abyssal seems like a great synergy with Zul'jin. As any, as any shield character is, to be, fa to be fair. To be fair. So let's drop a uh, monstrosity top. Just keep keep the push going. Um, Greyman needs uh, some help. Illidan hunted. Okay, I can't really... I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to do my best to keep you alive. Damn, this Greyman knows no fear. Knows no fear and the enemies are paying for it. Because they keep fighting him and he keeps somehow winning the trades. Like, even when he's supposed to just die, Greyman just goes in, tries to do the best uh, out of a bad... Si oh no. Out of a bad situation. I was a little bit late there. Because that's what you need to be doing, kind of, right? When you know that you are going to die no matter what, it's better to just uh, commit and do as much damage to the enemies as you can. Rather than just give up your life and die, you know? So, obviously, good place by... good place by Greymane. Let's kill up our friend Illidan. There we go. Our monstrosity, by the way, can deep tunnel now. I mean, it's a bit late to make like good usage of it, but you know what? Never mind. Oh, it died. Zuljin, no! Damn. Well, this is the end of the game, at least. This was a fast game. God damn. I feel like Sky Temple Abyssal is so damn scary. I mean, to be fair, we had Illidan, we had Kerizim, we had Greyman. All of them have insane, insane synergy with Abyssal. But still, man, that, like that's so cool. That's so damn cool. Good job, team. Well played. Well played, team. We got some kills. We got some healing, shielding. <laughs> we actually healed the same amount Karazim did. That's the power of this shield build. 
And our monstrosity kept the lanes pushed. I feel like that was a good game. Dominator. Dominator Abyssal. We died though. What did we die to? Oh yeah, we were split pushing. We were body soaking and then Genji just engaged on us and killed us super damn fast. Well, not much you can do about that, sadly. Uh, if we had our ultimate evolutions and we can hide in our clone for the time being, maybe Genji would leave or whatever, but your deep tunnel won't have enough time to cast after Genji already engages you, he will kill you faster, sadly. Sadly. Wow, Grayman died five times, but man was he, like, enemies were paying for those kills. But brilliant, brilliant gameplay by them. So I think that's gonna be it. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing, and as always guys, thank you so much for watching, and see you next time.